In the last few videos, we learned all of the formulas you see on your screen. And in this video, we're going to combine them to break down complicated sums into easier sums. And one thing that I want you to notice is that 1, 2, and 3 are all formulas. They give you an actual value for a sum. So for example, uh, if you were just summing a constant, what it adds up to, the actual value, is just n times c. Or if you're summing up i, the actual value that that adds up to is n times n plus 1 over 2, etc. The difference be with, between these three formulas and these two properties, a and b, is that they don't give you, the properties a and b don't give you a value back. All they're doing is taking harder sums and, and there are rules for converting those harder sums into easier sums. Okay, and that's going to be our strategy from now on. Whenever we see a, a sum, we're going to apply rules A and B to break that sum into easier pieces. In fact, we're going to break it down all the way until we have one of these three formulas sitting there in, uh, in front of us that we can actually use directly. All right, enough talk. Let's go ahead and actually do it. So here's an example. Suppose we want to sum i from 1 to 20 of 7i. Okay, well, this doesn't look exactly like one of our formulas. It's got an i in it, but we don't have a formula for 7i. We just have a formula for i. So this 7 is throwing us off. We can't apply formula 2 directly. But if we look over at property a, if it says that if we have a constant times a summation term, then we can just pull that constant out of the sum. So let's go ahead and do that. So using property A, this is the same thing as 7 times the sum as i goes from 1 to 20 of just i. Okay, and now this piece here we can use property 2 on. That or the formula 2. That is just exactly the form of formula 2, so we can use it directly. So, okay, now using formula 2, we have 7 times, and what do we have? n times n plus 1 over 2. So that's 20 times 21 over 2. So that's 7 times, well, 2 divided by 20 is 10, times 21 is 210. Okay, and now what is that? That's a hundred and uh, one thousand four hundred and seventy. Seven times two ten is one thousand four hundred and seventy. Okay, so we took something where we didn't. We started. We didn't have a formula. We s used property A to break it into something a little bit easier. And then now we had a formula. We just used property two, and uh, and we and we plugged that in. Okay, I realize that probably all these marks were not helpful, but that's the general idea. We're going to use properties A and B to break things into easier bits. Let's go ahead and do another example. How about the sum as i goes from 1 to 100 of 2i plus 6. All right, well, 2i plus 6 doesn't correspond directly to one of these formulas, but it does look like the summation of two different terms. So we're going to use property B. Property B says we can split this up into two different sums. i goes from 1 to 100 of 2i plus the sum as i goes from 1 to 100 of 6. Okay, great. So now we have two different sums using property B. This sum here looks exactly like property 1. It's this, just the sum of a constant. And this sum here we don't have a direct rule for. But just like the last example we did, we have this constant here. So we can apply property A to pull it out. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is going to be 2 times the sum as i goes from 1 to 100 of just i plus the sum as i goes from 1 to 100 of 6. And now we've taken this 
more complicated thing here. We've broken it down into smaller pieces, each of which have a formula. This has formula 2 that we can use, and this has formula 1, just the sum of a constant that we can use. Okay, so let's go ahead and use those formulas. So this is 2 times, and we, we use formula 2, and that's 100 times 101 all over 2 plus formula 1 says that this is just going to be n times c or in other words in our example 100 times 6. Okay so this is 2 times 5050 and I didn't just do that in my head I did that I've done this example many many times so I just have memorized it but you could use a calculator if you need to or some scratch work plus 600. And this is equal to, let's see, 10,100 plus 600 is 10,700. Okay, awesome. So we used both properties B and A in this example to take something more complicated, 2i plus 6, and break it down into something really simple, this step here, where we have two pieces each of which have direct formulas that we just plug in for. Okay, so typically the hardest part of these problems actually, uh, at least for me, is this part where we actually have to do the numbers and do the multiplication and the division. And I'll either use a calculator or I'll do some work on the side, but that typically is the part that involves the most brain work. This part where we're just breaking things up doesn't require much brain work because all we're doing is breaking things into simpler pieces, just using A and B to break things apart. And even from this step to this step, we're, we're doesn't require much thinking, we're just using formulas two and one. We're just plugging numbers into these formulas. The only real brain power is when you actually have to do the multiplication and division of big numbers. Okay, I hope this was helpful. I'll see you in the next video.